Hello, my name's Ben Welsh, and I'm coming to you from inside the Los Angeles Times newsroom. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Git version control software on Windows. This is going to take five steps down here in my notepad. Let's bring them out. Okay, the first step is we're going to verify that Git is not already installed. If it isn't, which it shouldn't be, we're going to go on the web and we're going to download the installer. Then we're going to run it and we're going to make sure it gets working, and then we're going to configure it, and that's it. All right, ready? Okay, first step. Let's make sure Git isn't already installed. We're going to do that by going down to your Windows Start menu and typing in three letters, CMD, and that should bring up the Windows Command Prompt as a program option. Click on it. All right, here we are, the terminal. Now we're going to type three more letters, G-I-T, which is how you spell Git. Press enter. You should see what I see, which is an error message that's telling me that Git is not installed on this computer. If, you, if instead you get a long printout with instructions for how to use Git and its many different commands, that means you have it installed and you're done. You can stop now. But assuming you don't, let's move on to the next step. We're going to close the command prompt, and then you're going to open up your web browser and go to this website, Git hyphen for hyphen windows dot github dot io all right i already have it open in google chrome on my computer when you arrive at the site there's a blue button in the middle called download you want to click that to download the installer i've already done it and mine is waiting for me in my downloads folder you should go to wherever you download files in your computer it's probably your downloads folder but maybe you've set it up someplace else so go and find that file and then double click it. Windows is going to ask, is it okay for me to run this program and install something new? The answer is yes, so hit run. You may be prompted for your system password. That's okay, just type it in. Now we're going to click through and accept all of the defaults that Git has set up for installation. So just continue to click next until you get to the install button at the end, and then hit that. All right, now we'll wait for Git to be installed. I'm going to close my window here. And our next and final steps will be to return to the command prompt, make sure Git's there, and then after we've done so, to configure it so that it knows our identity, so that when we're logging our changes in Git's version control system, it will know that it's, it's us doing it. So we'll be entering uh, our emails. I'll put in my email and my name, but uh, you should put in your email and your name when the time comes. You'll see real soon. All right. Almost there. Great. Oh, the installation is finished. I'm going to uncheck this box that says View Release Notes because I don't need to see them. And then I'm going to hit Finish. Now I'm going to return to the Start menu, and again I'm going to type CMD and hit Enter. I'm back here at my command prompt. And just as before, I'm going to type three letters, G-I-T, and hit Enter. Now we see something different. We see that long message I was telling you about earlier, which is some basic instructions for how to use Git and its most popular commands. That means Git's installed and we're in good shape. We're going to use one of those commands now to configure the computer with our identity. All right, and I have those two commands spelled out right here in the notepad. All right, the first will configure Git to know our email and the second to know our name. So let's go back to the command prompt, scroll to the bottom, and type those commands. They begin with Git space config space dash dash global because we'll be setting these these uh, configuration options globally on your computer then the name of the option which is user dot email space uh, double quotes and then your email address I'm gonna type mine but you should type yours double quotes again and enter nothing happened that's good that's what we want that means it worked now we're going to do the second command, which is very similar. git space config space dash dash global space user dot name, because that's the name of this setting, space, quote, and then your name. I'm putting mine. Close the line off with the quote again and press enter. If you get an error message or something goes wrong, just try typing the commands again and make sure you're getting every little uh, character right. All right. If you've done all that and you see what I see here on the screen, you are done. You have Git installed. Congratulations.